It says, uh, as the womb. Ask, uh, Salakia. It says, as the womb of a woman and say unto her, if thou bringest forth children, why dost thou it not together, but one after another? Pray her, therefore, to bring forth till ch ten children at once. Right? But that's impossible. It says, And I said she cannot, but must do it by distance of time. Then said he unto me, Even so have I given the womb of the earth to those that be sown in it in their times. So, you know, even Ezra's, right? He said, Woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me? In those days from these evils that are going to happen because of all the visions that he has, right? The time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah. Okay. Um, they received these visions back then. And we know reincarnation is biblical. Okay. Where are these same people coming back in the flesh? Okay. So... Were these men being sown in in these times? Okay. It says, For like as a young child may not bring forth the things that belong to the aged, even so have I disposed the world which I created. And I asked and said, Seeing thou hast now given me the way, I will proceed to speak before thee for our mother, of whom thou hast told me, that she is young, draw nigh unto age. Okay, um, yeah, that's pretty much about it for there. Now, I'm gonna go to the next chapter, 2 Ezra 6, right? 2 Ezra 6 and 1. And he said unto me in the beginning, when the earth was made before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightened, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid before the fair flowers were seen or ever the movable powers were established before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together or ever the heights of the air were lifted up before the measures of the firmament were named or ever the chimneys of Sion were hot and ere the present years were sought out and or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be ended and by none other. So before any of this stuff that we see was created and the things that we don't see, all right, the Most High thought everything through. Okay, why did he want to do it this way? We don't know. All right, the things in the heavens we cannot understand, we can only understand the things, uh, earthly things because we're of the earth. Okay, we can't understand the celestial, the heavens, and how things operate up there, man. Our brains are too small, and we only have access to so much of our brain we can't even fathom we'll blow up man okay it says um then answered i and said what shall be the parting asunder of the times or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth and he said unto me from abraham unto isaac when jacob and esau were born of him jacob's Jacob's hand held first the held Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Lucky. Okay. So it was it was all spiritual. It all had meaning. Alright, Esau came out the womb first. Okay, the elder shall serve the younger. Okay. Um so Esau had his time to rule, man. This is his age at the at the moment. This is his time period to rule, all right? This is his season to rule, but his season, is and it wasn't meant to last forever, all right? You think that the Most High would have let iniquity, evil, and darkness and destruction 
to to uh inhabit the earth forever? No. Okay. That's why Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, cause spiritually we're pulling down the pulling down of strongholds. All right, let's get that real quick. Uh, I believe that's Ephesians six. Give me a second, real quick. Um, no, I wasn't. Ephesians six. Um. Lock here. Yeah, I can't find it. Um, but pretty much, you know, us pulling down the strongholds. That's us prophesying unto this place, unto the, you know, prophesying the destruction of Babylon the Great, aka America. All right, which is Esau's kingdom or queendom, I should say, right? It says, uh, yeah, it says, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, right? And in the, in the Spanish version of this, all right, it says, um, um, what was the word? Siglo, which means an age, right? Siglo, uh, the word world in the Spanish is siglo, which a siglo is, is a time period, right? Or an age. So Esau is the end of this age, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, right? Only this time, you know, it, it's going to stay that way, all right? It's going to be... Forever. Okay, let's get that in Daniel. I believe it's um, Daniel's two and forty four says, and in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Okay, so this this uh, statue, right, that uh, Nebuchadnezzar's dream was about represented these four great kingdoms that shall be in the earth. All right, one shall reign after the other. All right, and we're in the toes of this statue, right? America is on its last leg. All right, or last toes, okay? Cause, I mean, look at look at his kingdom, man. It, it's a whole mess. It's a disaster. Okay, all these are signs, man. That you saw Edom is going down. All right. Let's get um. This one just popped into my head here in uh, Romans nine. And uh, verse 17, it says, For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name may, might be declared throughout all the earth. And it says that the Most High is known by the judgment which he executed. All right. Egypt was the perfect example of that. All right. Every, the whole world knew who the Lord was and his reputation. And... His people, Israel, everybody feel, feared the nation of Israel after that, man. Okay, now don't nobody fear us. Don't nobody fear the Most High. Alright, but, but the Most High is going to make sure y'all fear Him. And His Son. And His people. Okay, because uh, right now the Most, Most High's name is not known throughout the whole planet earth okay 
People are calling on God, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Allah, Jesus Christ. Like, come on, man. That, that's, in, that's blasphemy. So the Most High is angry with the wicked every day, man. Okay. So we we we're, we're in these times, man. It's beautiful. Uh, let's get uh the book of Sirach. The book of Sirach. Chapter twenty-five. And verse seven, it says, "There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy." And then the tenth will I utter with my tongue, a man that has joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And we're living to see the fall of our enemy, man. Okay, so it's beautiful. It's um, no time to get lukewarm. It's no time to get weak. Okay. Um, if anything, every day our faith should get stronger. Okay. Whatever affliction and... and um. Hardship we going through, keep your eye on the prize. Okay, if it's in, if you can, if it's endurable, endure it. Stop complaining. Okay, we're close. We're at the end of this day, man. We ain't got nothing else. All right, whether where shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. All right, we don't have a plan B, a plan C. Okay, we don't have. Uh, Esau's blessing So we're not going to go ahead and try and fight him With his own blessing which is a sword Alright we don't have A million dollar bunker And um You know Underground sea We don't got a spaceship to fly off the earth Alright we're Here waiting to get delivered Of our Of our power here How about Shemi Al Shai man Okay, let's get a. Uh, now this just popped into my head, cause this is all we got, man. We walk by faith, not by sight. All right, don't nobody else got got hope the way we do. People's hope is in the government. Look at what the government their their government's failing them, and they see it, and these people are scared, man. So Romans eight. And 24 it says, For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. And patience means what? To suffer. Because we're suffering long for the salvation. Okay? It, it hurts to wait. It hurts to hope. Alright? Because we're just suffering... While we wait for what we're waiting for. And what are we waiting for? You know, the salvation of our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh, let me get this here. Lamentations. 3 and 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke of his youth. Okay. And that's what we're doing. You know. We, we've we received mercy. We've received grace from the Heavenly Father. Alright. We've received the gift of faith. You know. Don't neglect that gift. Alright. Use your gift. Embrace your gift. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. That's, uh, what I wanted to bring out as I was reading the book of Second Edifice, man, because it, it's a very heavy, heavy book. And, you know, I'm just sitting there meditating like, damn, we really are in these, in these last days, man. And... You know, the the elect is the only ones that know it, that see it, you know, that are in the spirit while the world, <laughs> while the world is still bugged out, man. 
So, um, you know, call Allah Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, Shai, the water for giving us this truth, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and His Spirit. That we see these things and we're in the position that we are. Okay? So, with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim Kakwadash. Until next time, I say, Shalom.